What's up, Plague Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Expert to Play XP Kage. Back to you guys, another video. And yes, we are finally getting into Black Lightning. I told you guys I was going to do this. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, press the notification bell, help me reach my goal of 100k subs. Also, check out my Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Eclipse's channel, which will all be linked down in the description below. And now, we start off first. Is Jen alive? And that's what basically what they're trying to find out. Lynn, Anissa, and um, Jefferson, Gamby, you know, TC, and they all are pretty sure she's dead. But Jefferson senses her energy. So he's planning on going to uh, the stratosphere. And they were telling him how his he was barely able to contain the amount of energy she had he gave her she gave him before and that's her whole essence and they showed that how the particles of her were well gathering together instead of dissipating like they should and, and he said that he needs to go up there before they fully dissipate and so he goes he finally actually goes up there with the suit the uh, first time i was seeing him in his suit in this entire season so far but we're only on the episode five of season four so far and i got hurt because my phone my camera is going to die um <laughs> sorry so i'm gonna try to speed up this a little quickly uh he goes up there absorbs the energy and he well he takes some damage and he just passes out which some people in the well Lynn and them thinking that he almost died or basically he was dead so Gamby put some really high frequency noise in his earpiece to try to get him to come to and he did uh, and he came to he dropped down and caught the eye of Tobias and basically Tobias was telling his new henchman basically to try to he's gonna have to earn his pay this time something like that uh, basically probably telling him to kill Jefferson and well black lightning and so then we go to the precinct which is the new the new detective and the new chief I don't know their names they're new to me so there's a few names I don't know that I'm not gonna even even pronounce um so she was one of the people that Jefferson knocked out that was end up getting killed by La La later on. Uh, they think she wants to blame it on uh, Black Lightning at first, and then Black Light. Then the new detective said, "Well, he was um, what's his name's friend. Uh, he was a former detective, the former chief's name, um, Chief Henderson, former Henderson, Henderson's for, former." Or friend or something like that that was came in there but uh, he's saying black lightning has been MIA for the past year and it couldn't be him and then she went to blame lightning and he said you can't put it on lightning and then he said until anything else proves otherwise she's been giving me trouble or giving us trouble and saying that she was the cause of the mayor's death and so basically she said that metahumans the vigilance need to get taken down and realize the law is not theirs so she issues a task force and names him the leader of the task force he says no because he doesn't want to be kicking down doors for dime bags of weed uh, basically and he said that's the same with metas so that's why he turned down SWAT and that's why he's trying to turn this down and she told him that she didn't care about his opinion and welcome to the task force and tell him not to screw up <laughs> and uh yeah <laughs> so then we go um TC is moping about thinking that it's all his trouble all his fault and basically uh, Gamby said it's not really his fault he said secrets work both ways like marriage like um, secrets are like marriages he says both well along with both people what was it um I forget his I forget what he said he said something about as long as both people keep their end of the bargain or both things keep their end of the bargain something like that and you know TC is still crying and worried and then you know Anissa is basically ignoring Grace the whole time during this uh, um, situation she goes back home uh, Grace is basically telling her what's wrong she's ignoring her telling her that some people put walls up she's living by herself for a while and then you know she said it's gonna take time and a pro working process and then she finally tells her about um, Jen and 
during one of those processes, uh, Jen and, um, not Jen, uh, Lynn and, Bla and uh, Jefferson were literally arguing. He pulled another addict crack at her because she apparently knew the entire time and Jeff well she did know the entire time and she never told Jefferson and then she told Jefferson it was his fault because he left Black Lightning and banded his family and the city for a year and yeah and we had a reference to Flash as well because he said uh, one of the only ways that they could uh, bring Jen's cells back together or condense them together was to um was a certain machine they needed to get from Star Labs in Central City. So Jefferson hit up my nigga the Flash, and which this, I'm pretty sure this takes place after the uh, All Wells Ends Wells, All Wells End Wells episode, uh, episode one of season seven uh, of the Flash, where Barry finally has a speed back. So yeah, so hopefully we'll see more of the Flash in Black Lightning. Maybe we'll see him actually show up in Black Lightning instead of cutting past that aspect. And yeah, so and then Black Lightning finally returns. And well, first of all, Lady Eve's group and uh, the 100, well, one of the Lady Eve's members are, I'm pretty sure she's probably dead. Whatever her name is, I forget her name. I'm still getting used to some of the names. Uh, so bear with me. Um, she wants to go up to Lala and she wants to propose a truth because she's going through that. What's Well, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Type of, type of mentality because the chief she said the chief's going after you guys uh because she they're kind of blaming them for the for the death of the mayor as well because they're the one that killed the mayor but really it was tobias's new henchman uh that killed the mayor but they think the 100 did it and so they're going after the 100 so she said after she's done with you she's gonna come after us next so it's you know it's just business and then lala basically told his big fat friend um uh, you'll know why i'm pretty pissed at this guy his big fat friend uh, later on, um, he told him she needs to die, and that's basically what happened. So one of them set him up. I know, I'm pretty sure it was her that set up the 100 gang. And so we go to the part where they actually when she they go to the meeting spot that they agreed upon, and the cops show up, and they basically they shoot La 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 gets uh, drops down. People think he's dead, and then the fat little fat shit runs away, falls down. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Basically. You know, referencing to George Floyd, which I think that was kind of in bad taste. And then the new Tedder said, I'm not even on you like that, so quit uh, disgracing the dead or something like that. So, yeah, that was a, that was an interesting part. Black Lightning's probably going to get a lot of hate on Twitter for this. <laughs> uh, dang. Um, yeah, so, and then um, Jen actually comes back alive. And... They changed her. They changed the actor because that's not the same person who plays as Jen. She looks different, and I guess this is her, their way of changing the actor. Maybe she wanted out. I don't know why, because this is the final season, so she could have just stuck around for the whole season. But um, yeah, this is this is a very interesting development. Uh, Jen's actor has changed. I will put a screenshot up here of what she looks like now. This is what she looks like now. Yeah, that's not the original actor, and that's not Jen, so... Yeah. Also, before I throw in this, uh, basically, um, they, Lynn and Jefferson go off at the end when they find out that they're making Lightning their number one enemy, public enemy number one when she's not even back yet. Well, they don't know she's gone. And she's he's like, no, Jin didn't do this. And Game is like, hey, you want to tell him or should I? And Jefferson said, hey, I just beat him up pretty badly, but he was alive when I left, but I may have broke his leg. And which we already know that Lala killed him in the last episode. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was basically the whole sum of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you guys want me to talk more about Black Lightning. I enjoyed this episode. This was an amazing episode. Still kind of iffy about that George Floyd um, reference there. Uh, we've had a couple this season already. This is, well, we had one this season. This is the second one this season. The reference to George Floyd. And this reference wasn't a good, wasn't kind of in bad taste and still kind of too soon. Um... 
Yeah, so if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you guys did enjoy the video, please smash the like button. If you made it to the end of the video, put hashtag in squad down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys want to see more Black Lightning. I'll be talking about The Flash Season 7, Episode 2 tomorrow, and Superman and Lois Season 1, Episode 3 tomorrow as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out, Plague Squad. XP Kage. Out.